said, let's go to the tab to the left. I'm going to try to organize my, my loans first, and then we'll try to enter this. So I'm going to go to the account to the left. We're going to go into the, the chart of accounts, my accounts on the left. And that's my accountant accounting on the left and then the chart of accounts. And then where's that located under the, the business view? You might ask it's under the bookkeeping the bookkeeping and then the chart of accounts so there we have that hold on a sec that's not where it's at it's under yeah that's right it's under the bookkeeping and then and then it went up here to the transactions but we want the chart of accounts and then the chart of accounts that's where it's at and then you have to hit the chart of accounts okay so there it is in that view all right so i'm going to close this up i'm going to look at my loans down here and i'm going to try to fix up my loan payables before we enter the transaction. So the loans are down here in other current liabilities. There's my loan payable account. I would like to make a parent account called loan payables and then make this a sub account of it. Now I have a problem because I called this one just a generic loan payable account and I would like to give it a more specific name such as the loan, like the name of the institution, the financial institution and possibly the last four digits of the loan number. So I'm going to first change this one. I'm just going to change the name of it. So let's go into the drop down, edit, and I'm going to call it. It's going to be a loan. I'm just going to say the name though. I want to change the name. I want to change to, I'm going to call it B B of a that's bank of America loan. And I'm going to pretend I had the last four digits of the loan number so that if I had multiple loans from the same institution, then that will help me to differentiate one loan from another loan. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to make a generic loan payable, which is going to be a parent account that I want to put the other two as sub accounts underneath. So I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to call it a liability account, liability account. It's going to be a current liability account. And I'm just going to give it the generic name of loan payable again, loan payable. I had to do that this way. So I, so I can have the parent account that I didn't post anything to, uh, here. So I'm going to say loan payable. And I think that looks good. No description. I'm just going to say that looks good. Let's save it. Okay. So now we've got our loan payable account down here in the payable section. We should have another, there's this one. And there's my loan payable. Now I'm going to make the B of A account a subsidiary of the loan payable. So I'm going to go into here, drop down, edit it. And I want to make it subsidiary to the loan payable. So I'm just going to change it right here, make it a sub to the loan payable. It's kind of funny when you go into the chart of accounts, they have like a different layout than when you add an account, when you're doing the data input, we'll see if they stick with that system. I mean, I'm not quite used to this layout as much as the other, but it works. So it's a little bit different. It's, it's got pros and cons. I won't, I won't sit here and bad mouth it, but I'm not as used to it as the other one. I'll say that much, but it's still not bad. I guess I'm going to add a new account then for the new loan. And this one I'm going to say is, uh, is a liability and it's going to be a sub account of the loan payable again. And then I'm going to call this, I'm just going to call it the name of the second one, which I'm going to say is chase loan. Actually I th chase loan. I think I want to switch the name. I want this one to be the B of a B of a loan five, five, seven. Let's say, let's say B of a loan two, seven, nine, one. Let's say I'm going to change the other one back to chase just to differentiate it, not that it matters. So, but I, but if it was the same institution, I can differentiate the loan by the last four digits of the loan number. So let's do that. And then this one, the last one I did, the one that already has money in it, I'm just going to make that one. I'm going to change it again to chase bank. Cause I think that's what our story was saying before you're making your stories, not making sense. Cause you said it, you, you, you said you got the loan from chase chase bank okay so there it goes so let's do that 